Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. If you're new here, my name is Anne, and don't forget to subscribe down below. Today I'm filming a video showing you guys my university essentials, college essentials, some things that over the last three years of my university life I found that were very helpful and essential. <laughs> I decided to share with you guys my eight essentials for university. So first thing first, everything is now mostly digital. That's how life is now. Even more this year with online school. So my first essential is a good laptop or a good tablet or a good computer. But mostly a laptop or a tablet because you can carry it to school and use it elsewhere than in your house. I have a MacBook and it did a good job for me. It always depends of the field that you are studying. I know some programs are more with Microsoft than Apple. So do your research on what you need in the laptop and find the right one for you. My second essential for college or university, I mentioned this in my last two videos, I think, my what's in my backpack for school or college and in my tips and tricks for college students this is my battery pack it's a spare battery like you you have smaller ones for your phones this one is the size of my phone so pretty big it's not that light but this is a lifesaver you can plug with this um, there's USB plugs and a USB-C. You can charge your laptop, your phone, your tablet, anything, and more than one time. So this was a life saver either for me or for a friend, and I don't regret buying it. So this is a must. I don't know how many times I will show this, but a spare battery slash battery bag that works for a laptop or tablet. My third college essential is some kind of headphone, earphones to either listen to music, podcasts, books, whatever you want, uh, videos, anything, but some kind of earphones or headphones if you prefer noise cancelling, either wired or wireless, but just some kind of headphones to Either when you're commuting to school, in your breaks, or just to relax at some point in the day. My fourth college essential is, actually it's two things. First thing, a flash drive to back up some files or use in school when you're sharing things and, and you're not using emails or airdrop. I don't know why, but a flash drive and a hard drive. Again, to back up your files, back up your projects, and clean up your laptop because at some point it, it's full or it gets messy or you need to back up some things. And you could always back up also on like Google Drive or another cloud program to back up your files because you don't want to lose your project that you've been working on for the last few weeks. One thing though that I recommend is getting a SSD hard drive. Mine is not, and I regret not getting an SSD. It's so much faster with an SSD to transfer files. So if you get yourself a hard drive, I 100% recommend an SSD one. So that's all for my electronic stuff. This is my fifth university essential, it's a planner. It doesn't matter if you go with a classic planner, a bullet journal, a online planner or virtual planner, just find the right thing for you. But find a good way to keep yourself organized and write down the things that are due or meetings that you have, group projects, anything. You have 
to have one place to write all of this down to not forget. <laughs> so find the right system for you and use it efficiently. My next essential is something that I already mentioned in my what's in my bag, I think, for college. And it's a watch, just a regular watch. Because when you're in class, well, when you're doing exams, you can't have a smartwatch or your phone. In my case, at my university, classes didn't have clocks on the walls. I don't know why, I don't know if it's everywhere like this, but there wasn't clocks. Some teachers would put the, well, a clock on the internet, on the projector, so that we would have the time during our exam. Some other teachers just write the time at every like 30 minutes or one hour. So if you're prone to be wasting time or to be slower, just get yourself a regular watch. It doesn't have to be expensive and just carry it with you or if you're always wearing it, that's even better. But get yourself a watch just to be sure. I did my bachelor degree in business administration and my last two essentials are things that I've learned during my school years that you kind of need. And I think these two things would be essentials even in another field of study, just in the grown-up world, <laughs> in the, when you're becoming an adult. So first thing is a business outfit, business casual or business formal. Just a nice outfit that you could wear if you have interviews, even project presentation in class. We had to dress up a little bit. Or if you're meeting someone, or if you're visiting companies, that's one thing we had to do. So just a business casual outfit that you're comfortable in and that is versatile so you can wear in different occasions. First thing that I recommend buying for an outfit is just a pair of black pants, black formal pants. They can match with pretty much anything. Then I would recommend some blazers. Uh, this one is from Calvin Klein, just a black slim one. Pretty basic but pretty chic. And this one is a Tommy Alfiger gray one with a patch on the elbows. It's a cute one, a little bit, a little bit more casual, I think. But these are great pieces of outfits, and you can you can pair them with different shirt underneath, white shirt, colorful shirt, anything that you like. Finally, my last essential for university is a LinkedIn profile. In the business world that's pretty common to have, but it would be useful in different field of studies or working field anyway. So with your LinkedIn profile you can connect with your friends, of course, with other students that are in your class and that you meet, with professors, sometimes with guests that comes to your school. I had some classes that we had guests every two classes to learn about their business and we could connect with them on LinkedIn and at some point these connections could be useful in your life, so you never know. So a good LinkedIn profile with a nice picture of you and with a good description and with your background and your work, well, your life background, your work background, just a nice LinkedIn profile. Could be useful, <laughs> you never know. So that's it, that's about it for my university essentials. I hope that some things that I showed you will help you at some point. And in the comments below, leave your essentials, your number one thing that made your life easier in your university or college or in school, and maybe it will help someone else. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time in my next video.